Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. In the chapel we have Romans 11.29. For God's gift and his call are irrevocable. So just staying true to God's path, I hope. Um, Alright, for Totally Hooked, the only thing I did was I did take time to weave in the ends on the two projects you saw last week. That's it for what I finished. In the basket, I have been working on my little squares a lot because they're no-brainers, okay? But then I've gotten, I haven't gotten very far, but I've gotten about hmm, half of the dark purple done. You can see my color change, but once I get going and get all of the um, rows in here, this won't be so obvious. Um, and I'm probably going to make just a short little video about how I do my color changes or add on a new ball of yarn. I said something in last week's about I'm just going to do it my way and somebody sent me a question saying, okay, so show us your way. So I might do that. Um, and it's really simple. It probably won't take 20 seconds to show y'all. Um, it's the way my granny showed me how to change colors, or not change colors, but add on a ball of yarn. Anyway, so I might make that video today, I don't know. Um, but that is really, that and the little three inch squares, I've done, I don't know how many of those, that you don't have to think about them, I can work on them easier. That is smaller stitches, and so in the evening when it's dark, I haven't been. And I honestly have not been in the house when it's light, or I've been working on other things. Let's let's put it that way. Um, and we're going to get into that and show you what all I've been working on. So I don't really have anything in the pots, or it, it's just been a slow fiber week. Um, and part of that is, is that we will go right into, on the wheel I still have the gray on there. Haven't worked on it at all. Haven't even spun on Big Bertha at all this week um the garden is doing what it's going to do again some of the okra isn't making it we're receiving the last two days we have received a pounding of yarn of yarn <laughs> a pounding of rain and some things are not doing as well as i'd like some things seem to be holding up there was a tornado down in seminole i mean we've just been it's spring and this kind of weather normally happens in april but for some reason this May is just crazy like April. So, um, now, in the farmhouse, I have been working on several things. First, I explained to y'all that CSR week was last week. Um, and on the final Friday, our uh, office manager, there's never a day to celebrate her. There's National Veterinary uh, Week or Day. There is... CSR week, there is tech week, all of that. There is no celebration of the manager. So I took it upon myself and I made two of these. Okay, so you're not seeing hers, you're seeing mine. But this, and again, this is like purple old fashioned corduroy. I don't know if you can see that, but it is. And then I just took another, and these are upholstery type thicker yarns but thicker yarns man i got yarn on the brain thicker fabrics but i just made a bag and it's a cross body it fits really well i made hers now mine is a little bit wider but i did hers with a french seam i don't know if y'all know what that is but pretty much you sew it and then sew it back and it's double stitched um i can show you here so first see that seam right there and see how it's all encased so that's the inside seam that shows and this is the outside seam that shows and what you do is you put them like this edge to edge and you seam it then you flip it on the inside and seam it um, and then your edge is hidden inside so it's double seam even if this comes apart you still have another seam in there so um, it just makes it sturdier, I think, and I like it. I think it, it looks very clean. Now, on hers, I also did these inside seams that way. And so, I didn't on mine, 
but on these you can see that I did these but on hers the inside seams here are also encased like this with the French seam so I don't know why it's called French seam I've just always heard it called that don't know if it's even correct but anyway so this is my new work bag it's crossbody my thermos fits right in here and then all my like my little calendar and my notebook and everything fits in there and um, Worms dog treat whatever I'm taking for the day so I have one crossbody instead of my work bag my purse and all of that but there it is it's got a long strap it's really cute I like it um, made two of those um, one of them of course went to the boss and the other one went to me because if I'm gonna make something and I like it I'm gonna keep it so I've got that that I made then I talked about that blue and gold material and making a scrub shirt so I made the other CSR one I made her and I matching ones and here it is all nice and finished I did add these there are some things that I would do different with this pattern. I found it and it was a pretty simple pattern. But the problem is, is that I don't like the how the arms go. If I do it, I'm gonna change the sleeves a bit. And I added pockets. We use pockets a lot. And this one has been worn. It's been made, washed, rewashed, worn, and washed. And I have not ironed it again. So, uh, yeah, I just got it out of the dryer. It didn't look too bad. But it, it probably needs to be washed a little bit. Or ironed a little bit. But I think they, they turned out very good. They look good with our blue pants. And, oh, it's downpouring again. Uh, but anyway, I've been doing a lot of sewing like that. Um, and I did those. Oops. Sorry. Dropped my list of categories. So, I've done a lot of that. Then there are some things that I did around here. Um, this last weekend I didn't have to work and I decided I was going to improve the duck pond, duck, ha duck habitat, whatever you want to call it. And I made a little video and we're going to put that video in right here. Okay, so I'm down here at the pond and we're slowly getting things cleaned up. Uh, mode all the way around the pond but then we got sticks and all kinds of stuff if you look all that wiggling across the edge is little baby fish um yep all those little things oh and a big old frog <laughs> but if you look close you can see the little fish um i just fed the ducks you can see they've got corn i put it in the edge of the water and in the thing because we want all this green that's here to be eaten and they definitely do that but we also cleaned out a spot over here or started working on it and it is you can see where we have them on and where we move back so we did from here over and we're just doing a little at a time and then we got up here and got a little carried away <laughs> but no it was easy to do it actually got cleared because there was a snake in there and we didn't want to do this whole snake thing there's frogs everywhere um, but I pulled out a bunch of the sticks and branches there's still some in you can see right there sticks and branches and it goes up over the dam we mowed around there and cleaned out this here so yeah it's a nice day but it's still a little hot and i think it's pretty we are going to leave um a little bit of what i call habitat like wild habitat so this big tree right here is all but dead it, it's just horrible this one will probably stay but be thinned out it's got two or three there just have one and then over here right in this edge right here is where the ducks like to hide out so we will probably leave a section from like here over and never clear it out just 
leave it for the ducks. Don't know though. We'll see how it goes. Um, slowly clearing out. We are going to leave a couple of the big trees. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll show you right now there. <laughs> there's all the fish in that. Oh, there were some bigger ones. You can just see it. It looks like rain. Those are all little fish. I'm going to go around this. But you can see that that has several trees there. But Blackjack, Mac, and Miss McQuack are all over here. Yeah, Mommy cleaned out a bunch of sticks there. This still has a bunch of sticks, but I held off two trailers full. And it's just crazy. Look at all this fish. Everything that looks like raindrops is fish or baby fish. So, yep. But this part right here is still a little soggy. There we go. I know. I know. You're fine. You're fine. Blackjack just really doesn't like. Um, I know she's telling a hush. Blackjack and Mac just really aren't comfortable with me. She could care less whether I'm here or not. So, I don't know. Maybe it's a male thing. Who knows? Woo! -hoo -hoo. Frogs. Big frogs. So. But, and I cleaned a little bit out here too. But you can see, didn't do this. There went another frog. There's frogs everywhere. But yeah, getting it cleaned out. And these guys are staying over here. And it actually is looking pretty good. It, it looks a whole lot better than it did even this time last year because of the green, nasty stuff that was um, in the pond. So. I want to say algae, but I don't know if you can see all the little fishies moving right there. Yeah. Yeah, so I spent, it took me almost all day. I had just a riding lawnmower I, out there. You know, we had mowed around it, and roommate helped a bit. Um, they're not roommate's ducks, so I'm the one clearing it. I'm the one doing for the ducks. Um just kind of my thing you know I'm a country girl at heart so yeah but I've got probably half the pond cleared now last year I didn't have to take down too many trees most of the trees on that one side had fallen you'll still see little stumps like this they're about that big around where we cleared that one side I think I'm about halfway through there's a couple of big trees that still have to come down I think I talked about the old willow in there um, and the back side of the dam we are gonna leave that one section that I showed you for the ducks to get just up in the brush or out of the rain or you know just to kind of hide them they tend to go in there at night and they like it hidden in there and and I was trying to think of what ducks really have for natural habitat and in the wild they have ponds they have trees and there were two wild ducks down on that pond um, until we put the domestic ducks down there which they come back every once in a while but they don't ever stay. It's not like they make it home. So, um, they're not there all the time. Our ducks are. But I did clear a little bit extra. And the next day I went out there and they were in the spot where I had cleared. You know. And they were just in the um, grass. And just after bugs and after I don't know what all. <laughs> but they were having a blast. And they liked the new spot that I cleared. So, that's a good thing. But I spent all day out there one day. Didn't do anything. By the time I come in, I need to get something to eat. And then I just went to bed because I took a hot shower and went to bed. Because, yeah, pretty much I was wore out. <laughs> so, hence no crocheting or fiber stuff. Um, there is then, I had Tuesday off. And that was two days ago. And so I worked on my bathroom. And I am pretty proud of myself. I know I'm not ready to become a plumber, but I can do enough to service the old bathroom. And I have everything working, I think. Um, the drain is still slow, but the septic is slow. And we were working on the septic last summer, but then winter hit. And we're going to finish it up this 
year and get it so that it works without us having to think about it. So um, it's an old concrete one and it needs to be pumped. Um, but we got to dig up the little thing and have it pump. Anyway, so here is a video clip of the bathroom I was working on. Okay, so I've been working in the old bathroom and I have replaced this. I say that replaced loosely. I have it in there. The problem is, is I can't get the water, this connection right here, to hook really well. Um, it came with these two new parts. I can take the washer out, but then this piece doesn't come off of this hose. And I don't want to have to go back and replace all of that. So, if I can get this one. I even tried the um, new washer there and the old. And if I just could get that connection made, I think I'd have this still functioning. We will see. I will keep working on it, but I am not having much luck. By the time of the podcast, you'll know whether it's done or not. Okay, so part two, I got it. I don't have any drips. I might have to tighten it up just a little bit. Um, but super excited, feeling super accomplished. We will see if it'll flush in here in just a minute. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Yes! Woohoo! I did it. I did it. I did it. It's filling. If I have no more leaks, um, I think I'm good. Okay, so you've seen bits and clips, but I did work on this old bathroom, and it's not so old looking now. It's getting better. Um, scrubbed on this. This trim had an off color to it, just dirty. Scrubbed on all of it. Um, got the shower head. It had so much um, stuff up in that thing that it wouldn't shower but like three or four strips. So, or sprays, I guess. So I got that totally working. Got the stool working and played in some old paint that we had from the living room. I haven't got it done. At first, I wasn't going to leave it. I thought, oh, I'll just play with it. But I kind of like it and I like the fact that it matches this. Um, and the paint was kind of thick, so it sealed up a lot of this stuff. Um, so I still need to take this off and actually do it. I need to do the trim, the edges. I haven't edged anything because I really wasn't going to leave it like this. And then um, I'm going to take off those hinges and clean them up. They're black, dirty black. And I'm going to do that. And then I just have the um, baseboard there in the front to do. And you can see that I've left a strip here. I didn't want to get too close to the um, carpet. But I'm going to go back and actually finish that up. Scrub this up. Um, of course, I've done my toilet thing. The last thing to do is to get this drain draining. So I have... As much as I hate to say it, I have a chemical. I use Drano, and we'll see how that goes in a little bit. But so far, bathroom's coming along. The more I clean on it, the dirtier I realize it is. Um, so, yeah, it's old. Um, this is from back in 1964, I believe, and this is the original bathroom. So, yeah, 1964, definitely looks it. I'm working on it. Got the decor I want getting this done and I really think I, I like that I'm gonna leave that it's got gold flecking I just like the old look of it so yeah I think next step is probably the walls but it's coming along quite nicely and the fact that it's usable I'm super happy so yeah I'm pretty proud of myself first the plumbing now there is one thing that I figured out and I ended up turning the stool back off and it's simply because I didn't have what I needed to fix it. So the gaskets that attach the, the tank to the stool are dry rotted. So there's one. One does not leak, but the other one, it drips just every once in a while. Enough to make a mess on the floor and enough to... Um, and you saw that round thing that I had there. I had that there because when I took that hose off, it had water in it. So... Um, this is a drip underneath where the tank meets the stool and I need to get new gaskets and 
rebolt it to it, but only one side. So the only the one side is what's leaking. Um, but I turned it back off because if the tank's not holding water, it's not leaking. So therefore the floor doesn't get wet. Uh, but hopefully this next weekend I will get that and get it done. And then that bathroom, I did put the Drano down and it is slow draining now. It's not a total standstill. I let it sit for, mm, when we first started trying it, I think it was last year. Um, and I let it sit for like two weeks because you could use it and once pipe got full, you had to just stop and let it do its thing. Um, so it, the pipe was totally empty. I put some chemical down it and now it drains. You, you can see it going down. It just is really slow. And I don't know if that, if it's slow because of the drain or if it's slow because of the sewer. So when we get the sewer fixed, then we can work on that drain. But the shower works, the faucets in the bathtub have always worked. I scrubbed out that tub, those walls, we've got to do something. It's that plastic stuff around the tub and it is just nasty. Um, I think we're gonna rip that down. But if we rip that down, then we open a whole can of worms about the walls. And if you know, I don't have the money to redo all those walls in there right now. So the cabinet was just an afterthought. I had some of that paint and it was really starting to thicken up. I thought, you know, this thing, it's made of, uh, that cabinet is, is so old, it's made of like particle pressed nasty stuff. It's the old, old particle type board. Anyway, so I got that done. And I'm pretty proud of it. Um, no, we still don't take a shower in there. I still use the other shower. Um, and that's pretty much just because of the septic. I don't know. And we both can't take a shower at the same time anyway, or neither one of us have hot water. So we're working on it. We're working on it. The hot water heater just can't. Or Actually, I think if we were talking about it, I think if we both try to take a shower at the same time and run both, I think I get all the hot water because that bathroom's first. Don't know. But nobody wants to take a cold shower. So, yeah, in the summer, we might like that. <laughs> in the summer, it may not make any difference. We may be able to shower both at the same time because we like to take cooler showers. So, um, yeah, I got all of that done. Super proud of myself. No, it's not a whole lot of fiber. Um, I am looking into, um, for tech week, I am looking into making five crossbodies. We have five techs there at the um, office. We've got uh, four regular vet techs and then we've got one kennel tech. So um, yeah, I'm looking at doing that. But other than that, just a lot of sewing, made bread. Um, oh, excuse me. It, that bathroom has consumed all my time when it's nice outside the duck day we got all the mowing done the same day you know like we mowed the yard and the yard is pretty big not just the yard but around the edge now everything's flooding go figure right um but yeah we're doing pretty good just not getting a whole lot of crochet done um which i guess I do have some fiber I need to spin. Um, if you remember, I did that dog hair. Well, those people have a second dog, and it ended up coming in, and it had a wound, and they clipped around it, and so they saved the hair and said, oh, you need to make them another one. That's not, I don't want to have to do it. it. It's not right to expect me to do it just because I did it once. Um, I, I don't, I probably will never do it again because of that just because they now expect it. You know, they shaved it and said, well, this is their other dog, so you need to do it too. I'm not being paid for that. If they understand how much money that I could make doing that, I wouldn't need my job there, you know? And I, I just did it for fun, and now it's turned into work. So I'll probably do it just because and then I'm never going to do it again. I, I said that years ago that I, I would never be doing that again. Um, I want to do it when I want to do it. I don't want to do it as a job. It's a hobby right now. If I want to make a living at it, it's very hard to make a living spinning dog hair mementos. And it, The problem is, is most of the time when you're 
dealing with those mementos like that is because their dog or cat had passed away and that puts a lot of human emotion in it so I did this for fun when there was nothing wrong with the dog and I kind of liked it but I'm not saying that I, I want to do it again and for them to just assume that because their other dog had a wound and it had to be clipped that I should take that and make them another one that's not right either so anyway just ignoring it have the fiber I'll do it when I do it they're not paying me I'll do it when I do it if I do it so anyway uh, I am going to get off of here get some stuff done I have to work this is my long week I only have Tuesday off and I have to work Saturday next week I just work Monday Wednesday Friday so that's good I'll have Tuesday Thursday and Saturday off so and I start my skating lessons not this Saturday but next Saturday so that's a good thing <laughs> yeah it's awesome all right I'm off of here you guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe RG tells me all the time mom you need to say that I just have fun and this is kind of how I track my life I went back and watched some of the old videos two weeks ago three weeks ago and man my little man has grown up oh I forgot to tell you RJ's traveling again so he's not even he was in Kansas now he's out in western Texas he comes back for three days and then he's back out on the road for eastern Texas so I'll let you know how he does if you follow him on Facebook you will see any um, runs that he posts or whatever so all right I'm off of here thanks for watching and I will see y'all next time Bye.